this heat, all this humidity. Is it low? Is it moderate? Is it high? It is. Angie, what do you think? Hi, lots of skaters. It's back up there. Yeah. I know. Okay. High skater meter. It's not going to worry you, is it, Tina? <laughs> you can still register for the Owensboro Walk to End Alzheimer's. Tina Wright is here to tell you how. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad. And she's representing Wear Hair Colors for the, the walk. Yeah. When is it going to be? It will be Saturday, October 12th in Owensboro, downtown at the Smothers Park. A perfect place. So is that where you start? That is where we start. It's a two-mile loop around downtown. Oh, that'd be just fun to see all the, because Owensboro's growing and changing. It is. It's beautiful. Can you register that day, Tina? Yes, you can register that day. It opens at 9 a.m., and the walk begins at 10. So what, how do we get our shirt? Do you have to register early for that? or? You do need to register, and anyone that raises $100 personally will get their purple shirt. And um, you can do that in advance. With your team, through your registration, you can go to alz.org slash team and either join a team or create your own team because it's still not too are late. You see a teams that are, let's say, an office group or a church group. Is that what kind of team you're Yes, family for? groups. Families that have been touched by Alzheimer's often create their own family team and sometimes their own T-shirts with their own special logos honoring the loved one that... That they're walking for. Well, and it's not a timed race, really, so any age group can walk, right, kids? Yes, and I tell people, don't feel obligated to walk. If you come down, register, that is free, free registration, and just get your name on the list and um, personally donate or donate as a group or as a business. The environment down there, the ceremony itself, if you don't want to walk or you cannot walk, don't let that hold you back. Some great pictures. And let's talk about the ceremony because I think for, for me, I didn't really realize until I was a part of that mm -hmm. what that opening ceremony is like. Because, you know, you go to races and you take off. I mean, right. you say, ready, set, go. But this is really telling the story. Of it Alzheimer's. is. It is a very touching ceremony. And... Um, and it can be a little emotional. It, it honors emotional. everyone that, has, that serves as a caregiver, as a family member, as um, someone who's lost someone to Alzheimer's disease. And then the final flower is in honor of the first person to actually survive it. The white flower represents that. And so that, you know, just being there among all those families and loved ones is powerful. It is. Very large support group. And uh, this year our goal is to have 700 participants downtown which I think is doable, and $80,000. That's I think that is doable. Yes, you can do that. Yes, absolutely. Now, for folks that haven't signed up, best way to, if they still want to make a team, they can still do that. You can mm -hmm. raise several hundred dollars between now and the 12th, mm -hmm. right? Best way to, to do that or they find out about a team they can join. Get online at alz.org slash walk, and uh, you can find Owensboro, and you can find a list of teams. My team is Time Savers. You're welcome to join me. Um, but the, all the links are there, everything you can donate online, you can register online, and um, if you're not able to get to the internet site, then just come that morning, 9 o'clock, uh, registrations will open. And the funds that are raised here, how are they used, Tina? They um, further the care and support and research efforts for the Alzheimer's Association. And that's so important. It is. 24-7 helpline, there's so many different resources that people can take advantage of. What a wonderful opportunity to really enjoy the community and do some good because every family is touched by Alzheimer's and dementia, just about every family. Absolutely. Right. Thank you for doing the work. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Sign up and you can do some good. And speaking of doing good, here's my friend Mallory. She's going to tell us all about what's coming up with Albion Fellows Bacon Center. Stay with us.